So we are on the Jiao and we're meeting Beef who will show us around. How's it going Beef? Welcome aboard, how are you? Thank Please you, good. Welcome. You alright? Yes, I'm fine, thank you very all much. Alright. Please have a look at uh, one of our dining areas we mm -hmm. have on Ajao. Um, people can choose if they want to either eat here or eat on the flybridge or inside of the saloon. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the boat is a, is a timeless classic design. It's an mm -hmm. Italian design. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been designed uh, 30 years ago to be exact, in 1989. The boat came over from Miami last year and has, uh, has been extensively refitted uh, in regards to engines and electrics and electronics. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, uh, basically the furnishings especially in the in the saloon and in the cabins is basically from way back 30 years ago um, it's just been well maintained so it's uh, it you know keeps this charm and, mm -hmm. and you know character so, so this is close limited. it for yeah. the AC thank you and i understand ajao is uh, strong and strong complete and complete it's an african for word yeah african. strong and complete that's right so and this is one of the areas where people really like to be it's air conditioned throughout the boat generally is air conditioned mm -hmm. throughout we have um, entertainment system aboard where people can plug in their own devices. Uh, the boat is Wi-Fi throughout, uh, so people can upload uh, their pictures that they take, their videos, so mm -hmm. you know, just generally enjoy themselves. Um, we have, if you want to follow me and I'll yeah, show you please the let's take a look at the cabins. Yeah, and absolutely. Did, would you like to see the galley? Uh, uh, probably we can. If it's not a guest uh, area, we no, we, we could uh, definitely like so if you skip mind. and focus on you know like uh, the the idea uh, is to. Give an idea of what it is like if you have like more gas who goes where how is it going to look like so if we could start with the master yes i'm guessing yes. here that's right so basically when people come on the boat for for um for longer than a day trip overnight or longer then we uh, we take a maximum of six guests and those mm -hmm. six guests can go into three cabins one of which is the master suite with the double bed and we have two more with them um, two separate beds in the mm -hmm. twin cabins all the cabins have individually controlled um, air conditioning um, as well as and suite facilities in each cabin, of course. And quite often, you will find that it's couples and they bring some of their friends along. So one of the couples usually goes into the master suite and their friends, um, they, they have one of the twin cabins. I can imagine. I want to ask about the yes. painting. Is that a specific place? Not that I would know. No. That was that came with the boat. I, I, so I, would, I wouldn't know who the painter is, too, unfortunately. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah. It's always interesting. I, I notice these yes. things on the yeah, yeah. on boats and yeah. and this looks like some original art with some story behind it. Looks like it. Yeah, depicts uh, generally the life of a fisherman in Thailand, I would think, on this one particular here. Mm -hmm. So those are the guests' accommodations. Would you like to have a look at the uh, wheelhouse? Please. Or... This is generally an area where the guests not go because in oh, the no, cabin is in there, but we always tell people if they would like to, of course they're more than welcome to go in there oh, and, and be captain for a day, you know, and, and, and have oh, pictures see. taken, that kind yeah. of thing. You know. So we have we have this area with the, basically the crew mess, mm -hmm. um, um, here are all the controls, uh, we have a um, camera system on the boat where we can see what, what's happening mm -hmm. around the boat for security and safety reasons as well, mm -hmm. of course. Then we have uh, crew accommodations at the front of the boat. Right, then please follow me and I'll bring you up to the flybridge where we have another dining and, and uh, lounging area where people can also choose to spend some... Just leave the door open, it's okay for now. Please I'd mind your head. <laughs> Here we are, you find our toys that we have for the day that people can use. Um, we have two tenders, one is a center console and the other one expedition with an outboard. We have our, our crane here mm -hmm. to put them into the water and bring them back up again. We have some kayaks people can use. We have mm -hmm. a stand-up paddle board, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. People can uh, play their music up here as well. Can dine here if they prefer to be up here rather than in the saloon. Wonderful. Yeah, and the captain also sometimes decides, you know, to control the boat from up here. You can just, you know, transfer power basically from, from uh, the wheelhouse up to here and then control the boat from up here. 
Well, it's usually the location that people that, that get, guests will enjoy the most. most. Most of the time when we have day trips, people go on into Pangyao Bay, where you have James Bond Island, for mm -hmm. example. Let's look at, like, uh, if you have a, a, a week or 10 days, what's the place that, you know, like, what's It also safe. depends if people want to dive or not, because there are certain mm -hmm. areas, let's say people want to dive, then they really want to go to the similar islands or even into Burma. We offer trips uh, not only in Thailand, we also offer trips uh, to go into Malaysia, uh, mm -hmm. or Indonesia even. Mm -hmm. But let's say within Thailand here, the Pang Na area is not so well known for diving, but people like to go there for the kayaking through the limestone caves. Um, they also like to go to Korang um, or Koyao Islands. There's some nice snorkeling there, there, but not so good for diving. If they want to go diving, then in this area here, it would be the Pipi Islands or Raja Islands. Mm -hmm. But the really good diving here in Thailand, uh, that is at the Simulans, uh, but as you said before, for that, they would need to have a little bit more time, let's say at least at least four days. Yeah, like yeah. Four, four, seven, a yeah. family of uh, six uh, yeah. people is coming, you yeah. know, their children on board, they yeah. want to play, where, where would you take them? Um, I, would, I would basically suggest them to do a full package consisting of the best places to kayak mm -hmm. as well as the best places to, to dive and snorkel. So that would basically mean we, we are based in Aupo, in Aupo Grand Marina. Mm -hmm. I would take them into the um, Panga Bay, would show them first uh, um, Kohong, um, have them there as kayaks coming to the boat. All they have to do is sit down in the kayak and they get paddled through the limestone cliffs. They don't have to do anything. Limestone cliffs? Yes, very nice. Yeah. Wonderful. Absolutely. And so when they come back on the boats and generally when they have lunch first, we take them over to Koyao Islands. Koyao, in, in, uh, in comparison to the other places here, is it's still very laid back. It's, it's not as developed as Phuket is, for example. So it's still very much the, the, uh, the traditional Thai way of living, those fishermen villages. They do have some guest houses and hotels, but by no means as many as Phuket. So people really enjoy being taken back in time and, and mm -hmm. everything is a little bit, you know, untouched. slow and untouched. Yeah, and, uh, and then they can do some nice swimming there, some nice snorkeling. They can use our kayaks, they can use the stand-up pedal boards. There are certain areas even where people are allowed to fish. We have uh, fishing rods on the boat as well, so people can catch their own fish and we prepare them for them for lunch and that kind of thing. Um, and then we would take them to PP Islands for, for, you know, for example, to do some really nice uh, scuba diving there because the diving around PP Islands mm -hmm. in this area is, is very nice as well. Um, there is Komuk with the Emerald Cave, where you can, there's a little rock tunnel where you can swim through and you come out of an exit and there's a, a hidden beach Emerald there. Cave. Emerald Cave. With Komuk. a hidden beach inside a cave? That's right. Yeah, you basically go through a tunnel and you come out and then it's almost like, like a... It's completely enclosed. There's just a, a semi-circle beach. Is there like up. a light inside? Yeah, yeah it's like so, coming in from the top. Awesome. Yes, it's really nice. Yeah. So I, I get the feeling like here you can be as adventurous as you want, as you feel, you know. Or as laid back as you want. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, you don't could, want to do anything, you yeah. don't have to do anything. Just get some nice views and, uh, you know, chill at the Avdag or enjoy go. Enjoy the good food and the drinks yeah. on the boat mm -hmm. and, and uh, relax and enjoy your time, absolutely. But or mix it to be, together. That's right. Mm -hmm. If you want to be more active, you can. I'm getting the feeling that the places are not that far around, so that's you true. don't have to, like, you know, you, there is a yes. lot of uh, example, variability. Like, you yes. know, tomorrow we don't feel like doing much, we just want to chill. Or or the other way, we want to do something That's exciting. You always, you're always very, very uh, flexible in, mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in regard to which destinations you would like to do next because the places are generally speaking only a few hours away from each other. You can always make your way from one place to the place to the next within two hours up to three, four hours, depending on where you would like to go and what you would like to do. So one. Yeah, Beef, have we covered the boat? Is there anything else we want to see the there boat? Is, uh, there's the, the front of the boat, mm -hmm. there's another uh, lounging area, let's, there's, there's let's padded sunbeds. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, like for six six yeah. guests, it's uh, quite have, a. She's quite big, yeah. You have six uh, crew, take care of six guests. So, 
Yeah, so people like the, you know don't don't get the submarine no, disease. No, no, we stay you out of your way. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. generally speaking, you don't even know that we're here. If you want something, you know, of course we're always there for you, and and, and we try to make everything happen, you fulfill your wishes. But we're always to respect your privacy. We always stay out of your way, and you basically have your own boat. Wonderful. Yes. All right. Thank you for showing us my around. Pleasure, my pleasure indeed. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. And you.